a Quran teacher always advised her students to live by this ayah. And I hurried to you, my Lord, so that you'll be pleased. Taha, chapter, 20, verse 84. She told them, this ayah is what moves me. When I hear the azan and I'm occupied and in the middle of something, I remind myself of this ayah and so I get up to pray. When my alarm goes off at 2 a.m. and I want to go back to sleep I remember, and I hurry to you, my Lord, so you'll be pleased, and so I get up and stand before Allah. Her husband had the following arrangement with her, on his way home from a long day at work he'd call her so she'll get the food hot and ready, so he can come home and eat and rest. One day he asked her to make mashi, stuffed grape leaves, a very time-consuming dish. The process involves wrapping many of them and then putting them in a pot to cook. She had three more to wrap, but the azan was called. So she left the three remaining grape leaves, which would have taken her five more minutes, and went to pray. Her husband came home and found that the food was not ready and she was in sujood. He noticed there were only three grape leaves left. A bit upset, he uttered, you could have just finished them and put the pot to cook then pray. But she wasn't responding. He went to her to discover that she had died in her sujood. Subhanallah. Had she waited like any of us to finish what's in her hand, she would have died in the kitchen. Indeed, the way we live our life is how we will die.